Good day everyone, my name is Glycel Bonghanay, a second year BSCB student of Section H3, C-Sharp Exception Handling. A lot of times, when you are coding using C-Sharp, it is inevitable for us to commit mistakes and have a lot of things going wrong along the way. And if that situation occurs, C-Sharp will show an exemption. And of course, we don't want our program to get terminated just because of uh, the wrong uh, user input. That's why we have C-Sharp Exception Handling. So what is uh, C-Sharp Exception Handling? It's the process of responding to the occurrence of the exception errors. It delivers a power mechanism for centralizing handling of error, where it substitutes procedure-oriented approach in which each function returns error code. And then the second one is uh, simplifying code construction and maintenance. So it allows the problematic situation to be processed at the multiple levels. Next is the, uh, this one is the syntax of an exception handling. Any suspected code that may raise exception should be input inside a try block. And then the catch block is an exemption handler block where you can perform some action such as logging and auditing an exemption. And in the finally block will always be uh, executed whether an exemption raise or not. So in this part is the exception classes. We will proceed to the code demonstration. So first, let's try to run our program without using the exception handling. So enter a number. So we will input a uh, character here. As you can see, we have exception. Uh, we have exception that is being unhandled here. It is because the program here asked us to input an integer, but we inputted a character which is the O. So this can be fixed using the exception handling. So let's do we'll erase the comment. So in the try block it is where putting all the in uh, expected code that we think might terminate the program. And then uh, if ever this code in the try block would execute, it would not terminate the program instead it will uh, print the line uh, the line in the catch block. So it will print the error info, invalid input, and please we try. So let's try to run the code. Enter the length. So we will input a character here. So as you can see, error info, input string was not in correct format. So if we still input a uh, string here, it will ask us over and over again that uh, we need to input an integer. So let in the finally block, it acts as a default, like it is visible whether the exception is uh, being called or not. So like this as well. That's all. Thank you.